All right, so next up, we're going to be looking ahead the next season for Utah. Obviously, a disappointing year this year. Not the season you expected going in, but you were that's your star quarterback, Cam Rising. You've got some good news on the horizon as Rising is coming back. You're moving to the Big 12. The playoff ex- is expanding. So you actually have a legitimate shot at winning the Big 12 and potentially making the college football playoff, even if you don't win the Big 12. But we'll get to that here in a little bit. You can see last year's schedule on your screen now. All right, obviously, more losses than they expected, but looking at this, really not any bad losses. Every loss is to a top 25 team besides Northwestern in the bowl game. The bowl games really don't matter now, apparently. So uh, looking at the regular season, though, Oregon State, Oregon, Washington, Arizona, their only losses, and those are all top 25 losses. So not bad by any means. But let's look at the recruiting rankings real quick. All right, so you should be able to see it on your screen now. All right, they've got the 60th ranked recruiting class, not the best. And then the 34th ranked transfer portal class. Now that transfer portal class actually has some nice skill position guys coming in to kind of fit around rising that should help replace some guys that left, uh, like the running back Jackson left and transferred to Arkansas. A really weird situation there. I don't know. But looking at their recruits they've got coming in, 21st ranked offensive tackle, 21st ranked quarterback, 44th ranked athlete. So you got a lot of three stars coming in that will probably help you down the line, give you some depth at least – at first, and then, you know, in a couple of years or so, probably help you out. Then transfer portal-wise, like I said, they've got some good pieces coming in, really. All right, you've got a receiver coming in from USC, safety from Stanford, cornerback from Michigan, four-star receiver from Washington. That one will help you out. That'll probably be your main dude this year. Four-star tight end coming over from UCLA. There's another weapon for you. And then a running back from uh, Idaho. So, like I said, you got some skill guys coming in on offense, and then defensively you got some corners and then some edge rushers coming in as well. So some DNs to kind of shore up your D-line. Uh, but I think they're going to be in good shape next year. Let me pull up their schedule for you. All right, so they're heading to the Big 12. You know, Pac-12 is done. So they're headed to the Big 12 this year and really are one of the favorites for me at the moment. I think I have them in my preseason top 15. Uh, as far as favorites for the Big 12 is concerned, they're definitely up there. You know, I'd say along with Oklahoma State, Kansas State, Arizona, West Virginia. I think those are probably the realistic uh, potential winners for the Big 12. The good news is you avoid a lot of those teams. So let's go ahead and look at it. All right, Southern Utah starts you off in the non-con. That's a win. Baylor should be a win. Baylor actually pretty bad last year, so you should probably dominate them. Utah State, that's another win for you. Then you got this two-game stretch right here, which is kind of the tougher games on your schedule, really. Uh, The good news is you host Arizona. As for Oklahoma State, you don't host them. I think that'll be a good game. I think you can go in and win that game because you got Cam Rising back, which means it's going to be completely different than last year. Utah is going to be legit this year and probably make the playoff. But I've got them losing to Oklahoma State at the moment. But I think that should be a really good game and exciting one to watch. But if they were hosting that game, I would probably go with uh, Utah, but they're going away, going to Oklahoma. So I'm going to take Oklahoma State there. Hosting Arizona, I'm going to take Utah on that one as a get-back game for last year. So that puts you at, what, 3-1. and one. Got a bye week going into Arizona State, 4-1. and one. That's a win. TCU, not as good last year. That's a win for Utah. That's 5-1. and one. At Houston, Houston is down as well at 6-1. and one. Got a bye week, BYU, Colorado, Iowa State, UCF. Those are all winnable games. Besides, Iowa State and UCF might be tough, but I think you can win those games. So realistically, looking at this, I think they're going to win every game but Oklahoma State. So that puts you at, what, 11-1 and one, and probably puts you in the Big 12 championship. Now, the weird thing is, like I said, they don't play West Virginia, don't play Kansas State, don't play Kansas. Those are all threats when it comes to the Big 12 title race. So I don't know what that tiebreaker will be. And really, depending on how it goes, you might be better off not making it. Let's say you play Oklahoma State again and lose. That puts you at two losses versus somehow – which I think they can beat Oklahoma State. Don't get me wrong, but I'm just saying, hypothetically. Or let's say they lose the tiebreaker, so they don't make the championship, but they're at 11-1 and versus being 11-2. and That probably sneaks you in the playoff, because if you have one loss now and you're a power conference team, you're going to be in the playoff most likely. Uh, Two losses might even get you in, depending on what goes down. But either way, though, make the championship, not make the championship, beat Oklahoma State, don't beat Oklahoma State. Either way, I think Utah is looking at, at worst, a two-loss season, but most likely a one-loss or undefeated season where they're probably going to make the Big 12 championship and potentially make the college football playoff if they win that game because uh, I really don't know if they'll put multiple Big 12 teams in the playoff. But out of all the teams I named, Big 12 championship, Utah should be in that 
probably, and then have a shot to win that game and go to the playoff. I think that's legitimate. But those are my way too early thoughts on Utah at the moment. Obviously, subject to change. Spring ball, guys are going to transfer out. Guys are going to transfer in. It's all going to change by the time the season actually gets here. But at the moment, I've got Utah, like I said, at worst two losses, but most likely sitting at one loss or even undefeated. But let me know your thoughts on their record next season. What do you think their record's going to be? Can they realistically win the Big 12 and make the college football playoff? Let me know. Comment down below. Make sure to like this video. Most importantly, subscribe.